In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a linear inequality in the plane slope intercept form. And we can see here that our inequality is in slope intercept form, meaning that we have the y isolated on the left hand side. We have a coefficient in front of the x, which in slope intercept form means that's our slope. Our slope here is one half and we have a number being added or subtracted. That would be our B term, which is our intercept. And here our intercept is a positive two. And now when graphing, I can start with the intercept. Y intercept is positive two. And from there, my slope is one half. So that's a rise of one and a run of two. So from that y-intercept, I would go up one unit and then over two units. That would be a second point. From any point, I could continue to go up one and over two to get another point on this line. Now, before drawing the line, I'm going to look back at the inequality sign. And since it is less than or equal to, I know it's going to be a solid line. Had it just been less than, I would have drawn a dotted line, but less than or equal to, I'll draw a solid line. And the last step is going to be to decide where our solutions exist. So where am I going to shade the solutions to this inequality? And while you can try to remember rules about above or below based on whether it's a less than or equal to sign, I prefer to take a test point. In this case, I'll use zero, zero. You can use any point that's not on the line for these linear inequalities and plug that into the inequality to see if it's successful or not. And here, when I plug in the point zero, zero, I would be replacing Y with zero less than or equal to one half. I would replace X with zero plus two. And the question for this test point is, is this a true statement? Is it true that zero is less than or equal to one half zero plus two? And to make that determination, I can simplify. The left hand side is just zero. On the right hand side, one half times zero is zero plus two. Now that we've simplified, is zero less than or equal to two? Yes, our test point worked. So when using a test point, if that test point works and you get a true statement like we did here, zero is less than or equal to two, then I want to shade on the test point side of the line. So here I would be shading on the test point side of the line. Likewise, if the test point would not have worked and we would have gotten a false statement like three is less than two, then I would want to shade on the opposite side away from the test point. And again, the important thing about the test point is that it is not on the line. Had the line gone through the point zero, zero, I would have had to choose a different test point so that it wouldn't be on our line. 